Hi, I'm Anna Raimondi. Welcome to this episode of Talking to the Dead in Suburbia. I am so happy to be with you today. I am in collaboration with the Angel Cooperative in Ridgefield, Connecticut, and I am on location in Florida during this today, so I'm very happy. And I'm so happy to welcome my guest, Vinnie and Joe, who are the owners of the, the Crystal Council. The Crystal Council is a wonderful place to go for crystals and wonderful meditation tools and things that can help you connect to the other side. And you guys have a great story. Um, can you tell me how you got started in this? Yeah, um, it was just a, a hobby of ours at first and then it kind of shifted when we had a, a personal tragedy excuse me, tragedy within our lives. And then um, we kind of started using these stones for the healing purposes and the, the healing properties. And then we just started delving into the knowledge base of it and realized that, you know, some of these stones have been used for thousands of years for all different sorts of healing um, all around the world by all different civilizations. And um, we kind of, you know, took that information and, and ran with it and just dived headfirst into it and kind of wanted to know everything there is to know about crystals, their energy, their healing, their properties, uh, their chakra alignment and so forth. Yeah, after, after losing somebody, we saw that we were looking for knowledge and answers after seeing this side of like the spiritual <clears throat> world. And we saw how people um, talked about connecting to crystals and, you know, uh, learning healing through their journey. And we were so interested in it, but we saw as novices that there was no easy way to learn about crystals. Yeah. There was no concise manner. It seemed like there was just all these like old books that you could look to, but no, like in a sense, one-stop shop where you can trust somebody with the knowledge and the information you're giving them. And that was what turned into the crystal council. It was this idea of, Hey, we have a problem or we want to learn. So let's help other people with this as well. Oh, that's wonderful. And so the personal tragedy. So Joe, you lost your brother and Vinny, he was your best friend. Do you think he was instrumental in bringing you to crystals for your own healing and maybe to bring it, you know, to the world in some way? Oh, absolutely. Uh, 100. 100 percent fact we we would not be where we are today without his guidance and his leadership and you know it's still continuing strong even though he's not in the physical sense as he as he was before um you know our motto is we put a little bit of john's love and energy in everything that we do so it, it's a huge huge impact on us and it's it's why we are where we are today well you know he's so happy about that you know what i what i love that you guys sell is you have these boxes that i have given to many people um and they come with um something that you write down a little scroll and you pick the stones for them when you do that do you meditate about the person who you're choosing this stuff for how do you how do you pick the stones for those boxes and can you tell us a little bit about those boxes yeah so we uh what are like main uh, focus is, is that we have a subscription box service where every month you get a survey texted or sent to you. And then you fill out that survey and you let us know, want to know exactly what you want to work on in your life, uh, energetically wise, intention wise, whether it be love, relationships, success. And then we even have a field where you can write to us and let us know anything that's happening in your life, whether it be you lost somebody, let's say you just got a promotion. And then we take those answers and we in a sense, meditate. We're not sitting in a quiet room alone with your response, but we're in that energetic zone, ready to craft your box with the knowledge that we have and the tools that we have at our disposal. Uh, we have thousands of different types of rocks that we get exclusively from the miners. So we know all about their energy and we've worked and studied with them. So then when we see your response, we craft your box specifically and we include a scroll address to you. And we say, hey, you know, um, you know, I'm sorry this happened or oh, I'm so happy that you got this promotion. Here are the stones that we included in your box. And here are the energies that we choose to focus this box around. And then we include a little bit of information. And you can learn so much more on our website. And then also inside the box are some meditation tools, other items like that. So um, we definitely do meditate in our own way when crafting each box and truly use the knowledge that we've studied over years with these crystals. Yeah, like we say, no box is the same. Every single box is 100% unique and, and completely personalized. 
How has this, you know, attaching yourself to crystals changed your lives and how you live your lives? Do you live differently now that you are surrounded by these healing crystals? Absolutely. I, I mean, we talk about it all the time. It's just the, the feeling of that higher vibration, like, you know, almost floating through the air, that, that walking on air energetic feeling every day where, you know, it's you're uplifted you're surrounded by these beautiful specimens from earth you know impurities is what they're uh, they're actually called and you know they just harness so much energy within them and then when we're in our warehouse walking through it it's just like a breath of fresh air i guess is the best way to put it well yeah. for, for people out there who may not understand or actually have any knowledge of how um, crystals actually can heal can you speak to that a bit yeah, um, we basically started off by saying that each crystal has its own unique energy, but they align to our core chakra system. So we have these seven chakras in our body and um, each crystal resonates with either one or multiple chakras. And those then align with certain energies uh, that you're looking to tap into or attain. So let's say rose quartz, for example, that's a stone that everybody knows. That's a stone that exclusively opens up our heart chakra. So with that comes, um, you know, love, relationships, self-healing properties. Mm -hmm. And um, there's definitely a lot of questions as to how you use the stone in a sense. You know, I got this rock. What do I do with it now? You know, that's always the, the first question that everyone and we have always asked ourselves when we first get a stone. Mm -hmm. um, and it's all about your personal intentions that you set into it. Um, at the very least, treat this item as a reminder of the energy that you're looking to manifest each day. Yeah. That is just like the basic beginning that you could start with. And then you can continue on from there and you can sit alone in a room and meditate each day with it, even more focusing on that energy and, you know, calling it into the universe. If it's a physical healing stone, you could place it on that physical part of the body that may be afflicted. Mm -hmm. um, if it's a cleansing stone like selenite, sorry about that, you can actually, um, you can place it on your body to cleanse certain chakra areas within you as well. Yeah, I really like meditating with um, quartz, mm -hmm. you know, clear quartz or selenite. You yeah. know, um, I don't know what you call it, but the ones that have the points at both ends, so the energy uh, the comes in and goes out. What is that called? Determinations. Yes, uh, that's 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 those are really good to meditate with. Yeah. Um, I know my office has lots of crystals. I'm not I'm not the crystal guru, but it has <laughs> a lot of balancing things in my office, stones in my office, crystals in my office that people always say they feel when mm -hmm. they walk in. What about the name Crystal Council? How did you come up with that name? That's a good question. Um, we knew how important the name was. And after hours and hours of trying to figure out what it was, we kind of um, referred to us as, started referring to us as, you know, like these uh counselor being so uh, we always talked about like the roman empire had like the council that would like make the decisions and you know what where it would go and how it would go about um and we kind of just like viewed it as let's have this influential role on these stones and try and pass it along to as many people who would listen to us as possible yeah in a sense we feel like we are your spiritual counselors it's like in a sense another word for a guide we are counseling you on the information that we ourselves have you know delved into and learned over all these years yeah yeah that's pretty wonderful i love the name you know name. it's like anything with counsel you know <laughs> the divinity and the heavens and right. you know and learning you know because you guys are teachers you know you're not only healers you know the, you're the facilitators of healing but mm. you're also educating people how can people um see you know where's your website what's your website address how they how can they see what you have out there and the stones and all of that Yes. So our website is thecrystalcouncil.com. And what I like to say to people is first and foremost, we're, we're, yeah, we're a subscription box company. We're a curated shop, but we are the largest online database of crystal knowledge in the world where you can search for things very easily. I like to say we're like the Google of crystals because you can search for uh, properties like love crystals and it'll bring a, all a list of love crystals. You can search for crystals based on your zodiac, uh, a certain planet that you may want to attune to, sacred numbers, uh, days of the week. I know it, it's a giant kind of web of knowledge and information. Yeah. And it's all at the crystalcouncil.com. And we documented over 300 crystal articles on there. And you can learn about the history, meaning, origin, energetic use, 
crystal pairings. And then you can even learn about what zodiacs and chakras each crystal mm -hmm. attributes itself with. So it's in a way we want you to get lost. We want you to explore this giant library of knowledge. Yeah. And you want to say, hey, you know, I, I am lacking in, let's say, the heart space. What are some heart chakra crystals? And then you can just browse through our list and it makes uh, learning easy. That, that's what our goal is, to make it easy and not confusing. Yeah, the main mission of us is, is to bridge the gap. And that, that's what me and him always you know, strive and always put that in our forefront is making sure we can bridge the gap where anyone who one day just wants to decide to learn about crystals, we're there for them with the door wide open that they could just walk in and, and have it easily accessible and it be correct information. So what would you recommend since now we're you know, still in the pandemic, what crystal should people have to try to help us get through all of this? Um, I would recommend three crystals. One crystal would be to cleanse your aura because we're always caught up getting in, whether it be our own negative headspace or others around us. And that would be selenite. That's a great cleansing, protection, clearing stone. Another crystal that I would recommend is Labradorite. It's a beautiful stone that people are instantly attracted to visually, but deeper down energetically, it's a stone of transformation. It's personally my favorite stone that helped me with a lot of anxiety. I know that that's what a lot of people may be facing nowadays yeah. right now. And Labradorite also helps people adjust to change rather quickly as opposed to naturally, you know, humans don't like change. We don't like being uncomfortable. We don't like new settings, new surroundings. Um, Labrador is huge for that. And, you know, with COVID and everything, everything's changing. People's lives are changing, their occupations changing. So it's just emphasis on that, that Labrador crystal for sure. Yeah. And so, then my third would be uh, Celestite, a dreamer stone. It's a great crystal to place by your bedside. I know that a lot of people have issues with sleep due to either stress, anxiety, or, you know, okay. uh, past thoughts, yeah. anything it may be. Yeah. And that Celestite's an excellent stone for that. Well, that's wonderful. I have to get that stone. That's one I don't <laughs> yeah. have. I love my Labradorite. It's, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's just, it's such yeah. a beautiful stone and it just vibrates. Yeah, it really it's does. Beautiful. So when people get these crystals, so I get a box of crystals. What do I do with them? How do I cleanse them? Um, well, cleansing, starting off with cleansing, there are multiple ways to cleanse. And uh, right off the bat, we have a post on that on our website on all the different ways to learn if yeah. you uh, want to look on that afterwards, anybody who's listening. But um, there's multiple ways. The first way would be with any sort of incense like sage, Palo Santo, Nag Champa, some sort of uh, smoke. That's one way. Another way would be in the moonlight during a full moon, moon would be best mm -hmm. and possibly even in a charging pyramid. We carry those on our shop. They're copper charging pyramids with a mirrored bottom and glass sides so that it can harness that energy of the pyramid with the crystals inside yeah. of it. Another way would be with a water bath, but you do have to be careful because certain stones do dissolve in water. So you kind of have to know which yeah. stones are Just accessible. be cautious about that one. Yeah. And uh, another way would be during the, in the sunlight as well. Yeah. I love to cleanse my stones in the moonlight. Oh yeah. And selenite. Selenite is a natural cleanser. So if yeah. you place any piece of selenite near your stones, it will yeah. passively cleanse your yeah, stones. It's been nicknamed the, the pure white light of earth. So it's just an encapsulated white light. And if anybody is a Reiki master, or I don't even think you have to be a master, um, or does energy work, you can also clear it yourself by, yeah. you know, doing the symbols over it or, you know, whatever, whatever your modality prescribes for, for you to do. Yes. So do you guys do anything in person or everything you do is through the internet? Um, we honestly try to do as much in person as possible. Uh, we recently moved to Las Vegas, so that opened up a large opportunity for us to do a bunch of West Coast festivals. So um, we've gotten into a bunch of festivals over this past summer and this fall, so we've been doing those. And uh, as of recently, we are at the Las Vegas Ballpark at an Enchanted Christmas Festival. It's oh, a, a month-long like festival. There's over 2 million pop-up lights. There's a reindeer maze. They transform the That's entire fun. field. Yeah, so we have a, a month-long pop-up shot at the uh, Enchant Festival at the Las Vegas Ballpark. If anyone's uh, local or, or in southwestern America, you can come and see us. Well, that's pretty exciting. And you also have a pretty fluid Instagram page and Facebook page. Yes. You know, um, we always like put we like on. It. Yeah. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty exciting. So do you have people coming to you of all ages? Like, do you have, like, millennials and 
people that are older? Do you have like yeah. a mix of everybody yeah. coming? That's what's beautiful about this business is that it speaks to everyone. It speaks to little kids. Last night we were working uh, at the Christmas festival and there was, you know, little like five, six year old kids who are like, mom, that's my birthstone, amethyst. And they, you know, have their hand in the jar. Um, it speaks to every, every age, every part of the country, every part of the world. Um, you know, it's, it's something that we all naturally want to connect with. How long have human beings been working with crystals? Do you know? Since, okay. since literally the beginning, I mean, there's been some artifacts that have been found of obsidian weapons and arrowheads dating back to, you know, 7,500 years ago, you know, be, before Egypt, before we even knew, um, you know, there was civilizations. And a lot of these stones are common stones that we still use today. So it's crazy how everything does come full circle. Yeah, little do we know, like a lot of our um, religious, uh, let's say groups would use crystals. Like in Catholicism, a lot of scriptures were written in certain tablets of that stone. Yeah. Um, you know, in uh, Muhammad, the prophet Muhammad wore a pinky ring specifically of carnelian due to its power. So there were very specific things throughout history. And we like buy old ancient books and texts and read about them to really see the influence in that you know, energetically, these societies have been using these crystals. We like to say like they're energetic building blocks yeah. for our society to progress as like an entire being in a yeah. sense. To ascend, you know, to, to yeah. raise well, our how, well, Let's talk about that. How do they help us ascend? Yeah, I'm, I mean, depending on the, the certain stones that you use, simply placing a stone on your third eye will help just activate it and open it up. You'll be able to see um, we like to say you'll be able to see things throughout the day you may not normally pay attention to as much something that you might just like walk by and not see the significant meaning because everything that we're doing has meaning everything around us means something to us in that moment. Um, so simply placing like a, a third eye activation zone on your third eye, a crown activation zone uh, on the top of your head while you're meditating uh, crisscross. Um, just there's small, simple ways that you can just open up a little bit more of yourself to receive just a, a bit more information that can help you grow, can help you ascend, can help you raise your own vibration. So what stone would you put on your third eye? Uh, one of my favorite stones for the third eye is Iolite. Uh, it's a very blue, purplish stone. It's a um, ancient tablets and scriptures say it activates the violet rays. The violet rays are these beautiful healing rays that helps rejuvenate your physical and spiritual body, uh, really helps open up and channel and, and help you ascend and understand what is in like these higher dimensions and these higher frequencies um, and these higher energies that you can work with and then eventually learn to ground them and use them throughout each day. You know, I think it's just interesting that the ancient civilizations of the Palladians um, you know, and the Lemarians, I mean, they were all using crystals. Oh, you yeah. Know? They were tapping into it more than we do I nowadays. Know. It's like we regressed in yes. that sense. Yes. We totally regressed. Like, yeah. what happened? Like, how did we start here and then mm -hmm. come down to here? It's pretty yeah. wild, you know? And now you have to, like, now you guys are out there teaching people that this stuff works when, yeah. you know, civilizations from a very long time ago um, have used these to heal at a very high level than yeah. I think that we can even imagine. Yeah, they knew a lot more when we, than we do when it comes to tapping in and how we can truly link ourselves to the crystals. Like it was most recently found scientifically that our third eye literally contains micro calcite crystals inside of it. Yeah. Literally, like we sell calcite crystals, but we literally have them in our third eye. And that was something that these civilizations knew before that, yeah. before all this science was able to prove it. And they were able to truly tap into these energies. Yeah, yeah it's pretty wild, right? Well, yeah. I'm very excited that you guys have started this. Um, I can tell you that John is very excited to be working with you and through you. And you're going bigger and bigger and bigger. And you got a big future ahead. But more and more, I think society needs you guys to be teaching it. You know, need you guys to be saying, hey, this works. You know, try this. You know, the stones of 
we live in a society that is anxious and depressed, mm -hmm. you know, you can use these stones to help ground yourself. So um, I thank you on behalf of everybody else that you're bringing this knowledge to. So um, thank you, thank you I so appreciate much. It. We thank just feel like we thank love the life. So yeah. 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 Thank you so much for coming on today. And I thank all of you out there for, for listening in. And I hope you will check out their website you know, and get some stones, you know, that, that feel good for you or get a subscription box and have them choose the stones for you. Um, it's a great Christmas present or birthday present. Um, it's also just great to have these crystals around. Um, please check out, you know, my website at AnnaRaymondi.com. You can always listen to these videos on our SoundCloud or on my YouTube channel. Um, Thank you very much again for being here with me today. Thank you, Anna, Thank so you. much. It was very nice seeing you. Absolutely. It's great to see you.